I become a Christian? Maybe that's a question you're asking yourself and you don't know the answer to. And you're thinking, I don't know where to start. I don't know how to go about this. But don't worry about it too much. But one simple thing I'd say to you as you start out on this journey is to start to pray. I mean, that's how relationship starts, isn't it? By talking to somebody else, by communicating with them. That's how relationships grow, is by talking and chatting and listening and getting to know one another. It's the same with God as we engage in this relationship with him. And we can do that because Jesus has removed the blockage of sin that hinders that. And we're now free to enter into his presence and to address him as our Father who is in heaven, as Jesus taught his disciples to pray. And so we can do that. And uh, it might feel a little bit awkward at first. It's the same as if you are talking to somebody at a party or whatever for the first time, you've never met them before, you don't know them that well, or you haven't spoken to them for years. In the same way, when we talk to God for the first time, don't worry if it feels a little bit strange at first. It will loosen up and flow as you grow in relationship with God. A first prayer might sound something like this, you know, Father God, I believe you're there. I've come to sense that you're real and, and I want to become a Christian. I want to enter into a relationship with you. And I don't know quite how that works, but I know that you're, you're in this. And, uh, and so I pray, Lord, that you come into my life. I'm sorry for the things I've done that I'm ashamed of, things that I'm, I know won't have pleased you, but I thank you that you seem to have sent your son Jesus to deal with that blockage, and I thank you for his death and his resurrection, and I claim that for, for my life, and I pray you'd come into my life. I give you the driving seat. I give you the keys of my life. I'm in this the long haul. I want to get to know you. Please make that happen. Amen. I mean, it can be as simple or as bumbly as that. And you don't have to use my words. In fact, it's better to use your own words, to pray from the heart, to pray out loud, and, uh, and to seek God in that way. The good news is that the Bible says that those who ask will receive, those who seek will find, and those who knock will have the door open to them. That's a promise that's on the lips of Jesus in the New Testament. And uh, if you do pray a prayer like that, be hugely excited, um, because you're starting out on an adventure, and God's now in your life. And that's going to be a growing reality that's going to change you and change your world and the way you see the world forever and into eternity. And the Bible says that there's a party of angels uh, who kind of uh, celebrate whenever somebody starts to move towards God and heads home to him. So enjoy that. And another thing I'd say is just tell someone about it. Externalise it. Make it real. Uh, seal the deal by making public what's happened. Tell a friend or a family member or a colleague. I've become a Christian. I've started out on this journey and I'm really excited by it. It'll make it real and, uh, and enjoy it. It's really cool.